Fuck that gang, it's your favorite guy, Jungle Top. We back here on another motherfucking episode. Y'all know what I do. I go in that mud. I find them people who making that noise, who in the town, shaking things. Yo, uh, we got, you know, a lot of people, you got to go through that DMV, you know, that I-95, especially when you cutting through that East Coast. You know, so I got to tap in with all the DMV. I got my guy, Pillup Tay. Tay, what's What up, poppin', what up, what boy? up? What's good? Appreciate you having me, bro. Yo, man. What's the word? What's the vibes? How you doing today, bro? Man, I'm good, man. Just enjoying this this New York weather. Kind of colder than the DMV a little bit, but we, we enjoying it, man. Just the vibes. You know, it's, I fuck with New York. It's cold. It is cold, man. It's cold. Yo, the DMV cold, though, too, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. They get cold. So, because I know. Because I, so I, so I just something. I lived in, um. so after college, I lived in Silver Spring, Maryland. That's where I'm from. I done had some crazy nights in D.C. on been in row. <laughs> I know oh, what's yeah. going on in DC. Yeah. For yo, listen, yo, DC. I've been on Benny Road, bro. I know what's going on in DC. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't gonna say too much, but you know I know what's going on. So, how, the music. Let's yeah. talk about it, bro. How's it? How's it been treating you? How's the game been? How is? How you? How do you like music game right now? Well, for me personally, the music game, how it's been treating me, I mean, it's been it's been good so far. You know, right now I'm just in the process of building building my brand, building me as an artist, my fan base, doing this shit brick by brick. So, I mean, it's been it's been a good journey so far. I've been doing this for about like two and a half years, going on three years. It'll be three years in May. But so far it's been good. I've been getting a lot of love from people in my city. Uh, you know, I get a lot of love from people outside of the city, outside of the DMV. So, you know. It's been good so far, man. And, and the hip hop scene, I mean, it's real, it's real tricky, a little, a little, a little, you know, fickle in a sense. Cause you know what I'm saying? You you got the people who gonna fuck with you. Sometimes you got the people who really gonna fuck with you all the time. So you really just gotta feed into the people that's really rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? So Yo, you know what's crazy too? We were talking about that too, bro. It's like it seems like when I was out there, whew. It might be way back in the days. I'm talking about when Howard had Jay Murphy <laughs> oh, running shit. the scene. I was out there and that even from then to now it seems like the dc the dmv has always been it's kind of separate uh, as far mm. as in promotion it yeah. felt like i felt like no one promoted anyone in yeah. the dmv it's like with the dmv especially with the music scene right it's like we don't have like you said we don't really have that we don't got that push like we don't got late we don't got no major labels out in the dmv we don't have like we don't have, like, big artists that come back and, like, kind of pull that person up and be like, hey, I'm going to take you underneath my wing and we're going to do it like this. We don't got that, you know what I'm saying? We do got artists that come from the DMV that kind of that make it into the industry, but they don't come back and grab, oh, let me grab him. Let me grab him because he's talented. Let me grab him. Mm. And on top of that, we so divided because you got D.C. Because we the DMV, D.C., Maryland, Virginia. So then you got D.C., then you got Maryland, you got Virginia, but – we so divided, you know what I'm saying? We divided like D, then M, then V. We really divide. It's not even like just one. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like, the DMV not even that big. Like, D.C. right here, Merlin, like, 20 minutes away. Mm-hmm. Virginia mm-hmm. probably, like, 40 minutes away. Mm-hmm. So then you got, we all divided. And you got people that's from the city, that's from D.C. saying, man, them niggas from Merlin, they weak. They some shit. They, they music scene weak. Then you got niggas from PG. They not fucking with, uh, with, with MoCo, with Merlin on this, this part of town in Merlin. Then it's just then you got Baltimore. Then you got Baltimore. They on a whole different type a of whole frequency. Different out there. frequency. You know what I'm saying? They on a they whole lingo different. How they dress different. Mm-hmm. They music style different. It's like we we super divided. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's probably why like we don't really have that. We don't have that traction in the DMV. You know what I'm saying? I feel like with the DMV also we came in to the hip hop scene kind of late because we was really known for go go. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The go-go yes, music. So that's what, that was really what we known for. So we kind of coming into the music scene kind of late. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's really what it is. And then we really don't have big blog page. We got like one blog page that's really big called DMV Hoods and News. But they only they only go after certain artists. You know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. same type of, you know what I'm saying? That same type of stigma when it comes to the DMV. We just the, the, the trap, drill type of rap, like op shit. But it's so much more in the DMV when it comes to music. Well, talk about that, too, because a lot of people say that about, like, the city pages, yeah. too. So talk about that. Does it feel like, because that may be in general thing, right? Because that's what they're saying. If they say that about New York. They just said that about Cali. So do you think that maybe is that, do you see, does it feel like a lot of the platforms promote heavy drill culture, heavy trap culture, 
opposed to there's maybe different sounds of music from everybody? Yeah. Does that, is that what it feels like? Definitely. And, it, and at the end of the day, I can't necessarily blame the bloggers for doing that because that's what's kind of hot right now, and that's what the youth is really listening to. But at the same time, you want you can't just dim the light. You can't just put the light on one type of talent or one type of sound because there's so many artists from the DMV that's rapping about other shit, got different sounds that rap different. It's so many different types of artists, and we just we really don't got that type of that type of push. And then if we and we don't have that type of unity because you got certain people from a certain area that only fuck with one type of sound. So people who rap a different way, they really don't get that type of buzz for real, for real. Unless they get like a a major cosign, or unless they like, I don't know, they just kind of like break into the industry. So some, some similar to like Corday or some shit like that. Right, you know right, 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 similar right. to him. So right, yeah. Well. Also, too, I mean, just being from behind the scenes aspect, it seems like the, a lot of the labels, a lot of um, consumers, a lot of people just want good music right now. Yeah. People are itching for good music. Does it, does, what does, how it, well, when you take into account of how the, the blogs work and the, how do, does this affect how you create? Does it make you feel, you know, does it make you want to create a certain kind of sound? Does it give you pushback and Maybe like some type of a, a, a different kind of feeling when when you are making a different kind of content that's not drill or trappy. You know what I mean? That's a good question. Nah, like when I'm doing my music, bro, I ain't even tripping about what the blog saying or what 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 the what, what the people on the outside what they want to listen to. I really make music. I make music because how I want to make it. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in my writing process, when I'm choosing beats. I'm choose I'm I'm making music and choosing beats based off of how I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? Really my music is really emotion based. It's really like natural and real. So like I'm not really out here trying to chase like a, a a hit for everybody to really fuck with. It's really like I'm trying to build my shit to people to really fuck with me and my music. Like just really fuck with my shit cuz you know I'm not trying to be like nobody else. I'm not trying to rap like nobody else. I'm trying to be pull up tape. And the people that's going to fuck with pull up tape, they're going to fuck with pull up tape and we just going we gonna go from there. Like I said, we doing this shit brick by brick. We building it. We starting from the mud and we taking it all the way to heaven type shit. You get what I'm saying? So that's just what it is, man. I don't, I don't really be worrying about like, oh, I gotta rap. I gotta make this song so so it could go viral on TikTok. Or damn, the blog is the bloggers is only posting like trap shit or they they got this type of beat. I gotta get on this type of beat. For, nah, I get on. I do me. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just really what it is. What has been? How long? Well, all right. So let's go back. Let's go back. Right, so I'm I seen you in your music. You was mentioning you that you six five, <laughs> whatever. So <laughs> what has? Let's talk about it. What, what you, you see? We're hooping. Yeah. Growing up, grew up a ball player. Mm-hmm. All right, and so were you? Like, what, what what kind of kid were you in middle school, high school? Were you just an athlete, dude. Shit, I was in in in, in school. Growing up, I was like a class clown, but I was really, I was always in the hoop and sports and shit. I really played basketball, so I took that shit real serious as a kid. I mean, I ain't had nobody motivating me into be the, the best basketball player. I was really just doing it on my own, off of pure just motivation. This is what I was going through growing up, coming from the struggle, being raised by a single mother. You know what I'm saying? Seeing like my, my relatives and cousins and shit being in the streets and going to jail, getting locked up, getting shot at, and seeing little shit like that. That just made me be like, damn, I was always one of them kids who was smart enough to be like, shit, you went to jail. I ain't trying to go to jail. I'm about to do some other shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was always smart enough to, to to go that route. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, growing up, I was really just an athlete, just hooping, really, really dedicated to what I was doing. Real disciplined, but I ain't really had nobody to tell me to be like, oh, this is what you got to do. You I was just both doing parents? it. Huh? You have both parents? I got my mother. She passed when I was younger, but you know, my dad, he's still here. Okay. Yeah. And so you so you grew up, and was it like your dad who was like on you? Was he? Nah, I ain't really have no real relationship with him like that. I was raised by my mother, but you know she passed it when I was sixteen. So I just really was on my own after that for real. For real. What was that like? What was it? What was? What was that like? And even being on your own, what what was coming into that early? Because that was that's that's a lot, bro. Yeah. You're coming to. It. And thinking like you know I'm I'm have to do this on what was that like going at six and nineteen years old processing? Shit, I had to grow up early for real. For real. I had to take on a lot of responsibilities at a young age. Like I had to deal with bills and shit like that. I had to go get a job. I had to like you know be a man and cope with like I had to grieve different. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm young. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nobody to kind of lean on and shit like that. So I had to grow up fast type shit. So I mean. 
it kind of it, it hurt me in some ways, but at the same time, it made me a monster. It made me a beast. And so this is going on. And this is like top, like junior, senior year, high school. Yeah, year. sophomore going into sophomore junior. Sophomore going into junior. Year. And, yeah. and you're hooping? Are you like yeah, I'm varsity? hooping. Yeah, I'm varsity hooping. hooping. Yeah. Varsity. Yeah, hooping. <laughs> going crazy. You hooping. Are you, are you like trying? Are you, are, is your school good? Like your high school is so my high school, we was we were good, but the area that we live, it's it's a lot of politics with, with sports and basketball in the DMV too. Even though we one of the best areas, New York and the DMV, and who else is who's really good at basketball? Indiana. So we 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 real good when it comes to, to basketball, but in Silver Spring, where I'm from, it's a lot of hidden gems in there. It's a lot of like diamond and the rough hoopers in there that you really gotta dig for because we in that area we not really like known for like sending people like to the NBA D1 it's only a select few who do unless you go to like the Catholic schools like the math the Gonzaga schools like that you feel what I'm saying so it was you know I was doing my thing and I was one of the uh I stood out you know what I'm saying when it came to basketball I was like ranked top 20 for shooting guards in the DMV you know what I'm saying so yeah but I was still slept on I still was under the radar 